Now we're going to take a look at the Del Hiva guard off of the combat base. A lot of times people fail to recognize that Del Hiva can be applied off of the combat base and they only think it can be used when your opponent is standing. I'm going to shoot two really great options, uh, a primary and a secondary, for when people go to combat base. Alright, so Fred is in combat base, meaning one leg is up, he's between my legs. All right? I wanted to have close guard, but man, he's got that shin up and I can't do it. So I am going to take some grips, doesn't matter which ones, okay? And my foot's going to come around the outside. You can see that I try to get it underneath there. If I don't have the space to do that, I'll put my foot on the other knee, I'll stretch him out, and then that foot can go through. Now, we're going to take advantage of this space right in here. I am going to keep him stretched with that foot. I'm going to let go and I'm going to sit up. It's very important that this hand takes control of that space that my leg was just in, and I go four fingers in to the far lapel. You'll see it in a second. When that leg comes under, it should be very easy to grab a hold of that lapel. In reality, you don't really have to grab a hold of the lapel. You can grab a hold of anything on the other side. I don't even care what it is. You've got to grab a hold of your ear, grab a hold of it. And I'm just going to bring both feet underneath. All right? When I bring both feet underneath, I'm going to use my shoulder to push on the back of his thigh right here and turn him towards the floor. I do have control of this sleeve here. We'll see it in another angle in a second. But I'm going to dump him right on his side. You see when he's dumped on his side, I'm going to keep good pressure and then I'm going to step all the way around to the back. It will be very difficult for him to defend against that or resist that when I have those four fingers in the collar. Alright, he's in combat base. I've got some sleeve grips. Awesome. Oh, I can't get that foot in. Spread him out. Look, it goes in. No problem. So now, I'm going to let go. I'm going to sit up. Uh, sit up for a second. Alright, you see how this is here, right? When I come up, Man, those fingers go into that collar super easy. Most of the time, I don't even have to look. They just go right through and they just grab. Very easy grip to have. Sleeve. We're going to deal in the next video with what happens when he gets that sleeve back. Okay? Or if you don't have it to begin with. But from here, if you want to be mean, you can just stretch here. Okay? I'm going to dump him all the way over. If you want to have a little bit more power generate coming all the way up, I like to bring my feet underneath. So they come here. You'll have the time to do this too. He really doesn't have a whole lot of options. It's important that I shock with the shoulder and dump him all the way down. And you can see that I'm collapsing on that outside knee. I don't have the underhook, so I can't stay here. I like to walk my hips all the way around and end all the way up towards that back. Anytime I can get my upper chest on his back, man, life is good. Control, I'm going to stretch him out so I can get that foot through. From here, I sit up, that hand goes through. I like a little bit of head control, awesome. Feet through, I dump it, nice and heavy. Look at how I'm collapsing on that knee, very important. Now I'm gonna to start to walk my legs around, and then I let go, nice and tight. Nice and tight, combat base. I stretch them out, get some space. I sit up, control, head in, right? Both legs under, I dump it, nice and tight. Crushing down on top of that leg. All the way over, letting go, and control. Super easy. It messes with their base a lot. It is dependent on having that far side control. Check out the next video how to deal with people that are a little bit more squirrely, a little bit more athletic, and people that you can't control that hand.